That is the man himself in front, Joey Dunlop, a whole 45 years old. Almost incredible, I can't believe it when I say it. He is still so very competitive as Owen McNally is finding out to his cost. McNally's revs rise on the Aprilia. Will he be able to get past the Honda of Joey? And certainly the Aprilia, well, acknowledged as being a fast motorcycle. But Joey, I don't know about superior knowledge of the track, but certainly at the moment, he's the man in front. Through to right, through to left, heading down towards the hairpin now. Onto the brakes. Joey makes it weave. McNally makes it weave behind him. Bottom gear. Making the clutch spin out of the turn. Back on board with McNally. Great pictures here, the best pictures we've seen of the Ulster Grand Prix from on board a motorbike. And what better man to be looking at than Joey? There is none. Through the left. Dunlop now, eking out a bit of a lead here. McNally could learn a lot from following this man. He's done it before, that's for certain. He'll be heading not to do it again all day, but look at this, these two are away now at the front. Joey Dunlop leads on three, McNally second, and then it's the Belgian coming through. Mark Bissett, well, we saw him earlier on in the 250. Before the race was stopped, he was doing so well. McNally blast past Joey Dunlop. Well, <laughs> dear me, we saw the inside of his fairing. McNally knew what he was doing, though. Fissette is through into third place. Behind him, Ryan Farquhar. On board again with Owen McNally. Down towards the Deer's Leap. This is the fast part of the course, up to 155 miles an hour. Unbelievably quick, over the top. And then heading back downhill through the right-hander. Cochrane's down now. McNally still leading from Joey. Joey making that bike work very hard indeed. Number 36, Mark Bissett, the Belgian, having his first time at the Ulster Grand Prix this weekend and doing brilliantly well there in third place. Alone. Looked a bit out of order through that corner, though. Still McNally. Still Joey. Oh, look at the battle. Gary Dines has got four men on his tail, all of them wanting to duff him up. On the brakes, Turner Graf we're going through now. There's Bissett, then it's Dines, then it's number five, that's James Courtney. Then 12, Ryan Farquhar, and then number 10, Ian Locker. So in close formation, but still it's these two. McNally from Joey. Joey looks very determined. Dunlop round the hairpin. What a sight this man is to behold. Oh, and McNally, a clear road in front of him. That is, of course, until Joey Dunlop rams it up the inside. Oh, dear me. As we get back down to it at the start and finish line. McNally and Dunlop, these two getting away or not. Fissette, the man behind, number 36 there. Looks to me like he's closing. Certainly he's pulled away on number six, Gary Dines. We can only wait and see, though. Seven, McNally. Three, Dunlop, out of the slipstream now. Dunlop can't pass the Aprilia on his Honda. Maybe that Aprilia is just too strong for him. Fissette comes through, 36, that is. He's riding a Honda as well. And then we've got four men all trying to trip each other up. This is McNally. Coming through Tully Rusk. Sitting up into the air and then straight back down behind the bubble to pierce his way through the Ulster air. Waiting for McNally. Here he is. And Fissette is there. Fissette is right there in third place. Dunlop second. Fissette third. Well, this is going to be a race because the Belgian is closing. But it's Owen McNally on the Bob Mullen Motors of Prillia that has the advantage at the moment. Dunlop's in close attendance. But McNally, well, he knows what his task is. He knows what he's got to do. He sits up there to try and get a better view between the hedges. I don't think I'd want one. <laughs> Briefly looks through the bubble, and there goes Dunlop. Well, so, no, that's the end of it. That is the end of it. Oh, McNally is retiring. Well, his bike's gone pop. What a disaster for McNally. Well, he'll be applauded by the crowd, that's for certain. A disaster then for McNally. That leaves these two battling. Ha! The Belgian Fissette beat Joey Dunlop at Matei in Belgium on his home territory. Surely he can't beat the Ulsterman in Ulster. This is the battle for third place. Five motorcycles. The oil flag is out. It's slippery. Dunlop back in front. Fissette is in second place on bike 36. Through the left, through the right. Fissette broke the lap record on lap four. Will he be able to get past Joey Dunlop? This is the hairpin. Joey has the advantage. It's then the run down towards the line. I don't think he's going to be able to pass that man now. And at the line, around the outside of Andy Marsden, goes Joey Dunlop to take the chequered flag. But what a ride from the Belgian in second place. 
And so the Belfast Plant Hire Junior Race, won by Dunlop, Mark Fissette in second place, Farquhar third, and Ian Locker in fourth. Julia, well done, uh, quite a battle out there. Ah, it was tight, I must have met me. Have, have you raced against this Belgian before? No, it's going well now. Yeah, it's got to ride, but no problems at all. And how much does uh, this win mean to you at the, at the age of 45? I know we always <laughs> ask. Oh, no, I enjoyed it. You know, it's once you get out there and you're dicing on somebody, you forget about everything. Still the crowd pleaser after all these years, too. Come oh, on, yeah. It's just good the last lap, I must have met me. They weren't a big glow, innit? You joined today? Come oh, on. Indeed, so far, so good. Well done, congratulations. Time for a rest for all of us. After the break, the 125s and the final superbike race of the Ulster Grand Prix. <laughs>